please, please to come into the place, sit on the place that we call the seat, is to sit. My name is Pedro Asasio Bantubero. Today I am your yoga instructor. I am also a licensed and certified rebirther. So today we're going to go on a rebirthing journey. We're gonna go inside of your bodies to look at yourself from the inside, looking inward. As your tender babies can open the hole into yourselves, then we find what is going on in there. We're gonna make you yoga people today because that is what we want to do, to reborn. Ambarakito Mayero Sokoto, to be reborn. And now, I'm going to share with you the secret. Remember that you are the lake, and I am the water, and I pour out my mouth onto your bodies, the water from my pelvic lotion that comes over from inside of you. You know how it feels to be inside of yourself, so let us touch ourselves so that we know that feeling. We're going to take you to the place where we become yoga people. I want to show you the way and the light. Remember that you are the lake and I am the water. The water come out of my mouth and it pours onto you and it heals you in a way that only water can. Go into yourself and find the pelvic lotion that coats you inside of your mommy's womb. If you want to touch yourself, it's okay to touch yourself. It's nice there and warm all over in this area here. It's good to touch it. And then we're going to reborn now with the power of the force. The only one who can take us to the place who is the powerful voice of nature. The powerful, powerful priestess who knows more about struggle than any other human person. We're going to listen now and we're going to show the place that this will be from the powerful place of the only place that it could be because she knows what is it here and what is it here. We had the kind of night where morning comes too soon. We used the light from a flickering candle across the room to make the kind of shadows that only one thing could make. Love. <laughs> Love is the word she uses because she knows the love. These are the Did words of Janet Jen Jackson. Jen. You don't ever say her name. You cannot say her name. You don't know what she's been through. You know what her Alertino Moquero Saraka her struggle. Pondrakiro, did you read her book? No, I read her book. I have learned and taught for 25 years to become like her, Janet Jackson. Do you know her struggles? Do you know what she has been through as a person? When she was a little girl, her father Joe used to beat her with a stick. And he would say, dance, Janet Jackson, dance. That's what he would say to her. And she would dance for him because she loved him. And then she would go down to the basement in her home in Montana, Utah, and she would sing. And sing like the voices of the angels come out of her vagina. And sing so loud that the power would overtake the whole household and her brother Michael, who was a human boy at that time, did not know what was happening. And she overcome all of this. That's why she looks for older men in her relationships, because of her affair with her father. And now we're going to go to the place. Janet Jackson is going to come to me. She's going to come to you because she is the one, the holy one, and I'm taking you there with her. She is the caramel ice cream and I am the butter pecan cone. I'm going to put her inside of me and she's going to become inside of you. And her name is Isis and her face is Paquero Toropalo. And I'm going to show you what the... Oh! 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 Well, I'm... <laughs> mm -hmm. Now today, she has been here. And I'm gonna go clean myself up and we're gonna then do some yoga exercises. First, I'm just gonna lay down a little bit and, re and rest my head on her vagina. And so, oh, Jesus, Jesus, oh, Jesus. Oh, oh.